Wales have got off to a solid, if unspectacular, start coming into this game off a draw on day one of the campaign. Not ideal, but uh, far from disastrous, and much now depends on the outcome of this pivotal game. A win would certainly put them in the frame for a top-two finish, anything less, and it would be very much on the edge. The stadium has that feel of a genuine coliseum. It could only be Rome. A moment of great pride, the anthems. Wales looking at a pivotal game, second game in the group so often is. Well, having drawn their opening game, Peter, I think there's a little more pressure to win this one rather than leave it to the final match and endure a more nail-biting encounter. That should be reflected with a purpose and an urgency from them, so I think we might get something lively. So it's away we go then. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Well, I'd go for Burak. Ramsey! Just a whisker away. And there. Under, huddling down that right flank. Now a chance to break. Ramsey plays it out to the flank. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Tufan. There's the cross. Hennessy claims it. Oh, the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. And it's Chalhanolu. Oh, that's nice. Plenty waiting in the middle. Gets his foot in there. Bale conjuring up some magic on the right-hand side. Gets the better of his man. Has a pop! A potential goal of the season contender, if only. But I just hope he won't let the failure to score affect him with the ability he has. He can reproduce. He's managed to get himself offside. Turkey are taking a simple, modern approach here. Yeah, but I'm all for simplicity, Peter. If it works, it's good enough. And that's sprayed out wide. A really good feat. Can he deliver? And the finish! Well, that's confidence for you. Distance doesn't even bother him. He's looking to get there first. Now it's Chelhanolu. Chelhanolu tries to get it forward quickly. And he's going long. Steered out wide, but he won't reach that one.
Unde. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Ramsey. That's really nice. Now, what next? Surely. Soyuncu. With a definite fell there. Looks to me as though this is probably a little too far out for a shot. Oh, the wall's done its job. It's been blocked. Turns and goes back. Shoots! <laughs> Chalhanolu. Burak Yilmaz. Tufan hoists it forward. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. And it's Ramsey. Has a hit! A real chance and a real let-off. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. To fan. So who can spark this game into life? And now the breakaway going through. Keeper's ball. And it's played forward. to clip it forward. Fence has got rid of that. Allen. He's had a goal! No attempt, just the wrong outcome. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Under. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. The first 45 minutes are up. Both sides have drawn blanks and have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. And we are up to the break. Wales ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. And we're already back on the way here. No score in the first half. Who's ready to go for it now? Bunda is on to it and can take it up. In with a hand! It's there! Well, what a time for the captain to step up and put his team in front again, but while it doesn't necessarily guarantee a win here, it's a wonderful early boost in this second half. What about that, Jim Beglin? And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pass to, to kick him out.
Turkey get themselves into the lead. Oh, half time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Davis. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Under. Pretty robust, but it's got the job done. Ramsey. Soon Ju positions himself well and cuts it out. Back into the middle. Well, they could break here. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? Bell. Soyuncu gets good distance on it. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. Allen with the crossfield ball. Played out to the right. Well, there's a look to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Sticks in a foot to win it back. Allen. Forward it goes. And there, deftly done. Chalanolu. And a goal kick. Turkey have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Burak Yilmaz. Plays it out to the wing. Sunchu. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, there'll be no accusations of uh, a lack of effort. They're giving as good as they get when it comes to chances. It's Ramsey! Oh, that could cost them. Well, the lead may be fragile, but the keeper was focused and strong. Your Kushlu. Tries to get it forward quickly. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Calderim drives forward with purpose. Cut out in the nick of time. This is good ball retention. And it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Ramsey. Hoist it forward.
Turkey certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. And that will be the final act. Always in the balance, and in the end, one goal was enough. They are narrowly beaten. I've been in this position myself, and this will be difficult to take. They did everything right but score, but at least I suppose they can reflect on a few positives from this one.